guys, this is content that gives chemistry, and my name is Digital Vipi. I'm here with my correspondent and she'll be introducing herself. Oh, and today we'll be talking about the foreign news, and she will be the one to introduce the headline of the topic of today. Okay, the headline we have for today is Twitter bans the account of CNN, NYT, a Washington Post journalist who tracked Elon Musk movement and shared his live location. As we all know that um, currently the Twitter founder is Elon Musk and he has been the one handling Twitter for some quite few months and he has talked about the freedom of expression and the freedom of speech which should be allowed on the social media space this, including his microblogging account Twitter which was stated on Thursday evening that on December 15 he actually banned the account of a correspondent, a high-profile journalist from Top News Organization, which was a significant attempt by the owner, Elon Musk, with his authority over the platform. So, you yeah. coming in the, the other aspect of what do you really think that he should have done? Should he have banned the account or should he have given them a second chance to correct no, their... I think he's supposed to suspend the account, not to ban them from the platform actually okay, so because it's like he's using his authority to just do all this and uh, what's it to ban them he's using his power yeah. showing them they don't mean anything or so yeah. yeah and this is the same person who gives a form of freedom of speech and a form of freedom of movement on social media and aims banning instead of suspending their account and I'm very sure would have gotten a lot of backlash, but can we also look at the other angles? Do we actually feel that the high-profile journalists, they were intentional or it was a form of accidental mistake that they made in regards to putting out his location? Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe. Let's look at that. We don't know whether it's intentional or intentional, actually, because... We need to get deep inside uh, to look mm -hmm. at the other aspects too and ask because we don't even have, we are just here yes. speculating because exactly. we don't even know yes. what's uh, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so back to the story accounts for belonging to CNN. Okay, the account belonging to CNN don't need also even. The New York Times, Ryan Mack. And the Washington Post and other journalists cry. who have covered Mark's aggress uh, aggressive like, in recent weeks were come all on. abruptly permanently come suspended. Come the account of pro uh, progressive independent journalists in Europa was also banned. All right, so that's to tell you mm -hmm. that even Elon Musk claimed that the journalists yeah. had violated yeah. his new doxing policy yeah. by sharing his live location yeah. and it yeah. to what he described as assassinate coordinates, yeah. even though Don Osuliba did not share the Bologna live um, location. Shortly yeah. before his suspension, Osuliba reported on Twitter that the social media company has suspended the account and imagined Mastodon, which has allowed the continued posting of at Elon, Elon Jets, an account that posts the update location of most private. So we'll be showing you some screenshots of um, some of the things. It's going to be on the, 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 the bio, so you can see it in our videos, the screenshots, and then you can also share comment, like, and tell us your views. And there's so much more about the stories. You can find it more by following the sources that we got the information from, yeah. happening like KG. And um, we'll wrap it up by saying that Elon has said is a free speech, like I said, introducing it. Um, and he's banning journalists for exercising free speech, according to the journalist of CNN reporter that said, I think that calls into questions into profit. Rupert, Rupert who said he had nothing from Twitter about the suspension. The at Ellen Jet account, which has a more than 5,000, uh, 500,000 followers, was permanently suspended Wednesday after Twitter introduced a set of new policies, banning accounts that track people's location. 
All right. Thank you so much for joining our news updates on content that gives chemistry. And keep following us for our interesting local and foreign international content. See you guys. And my name is Digital Bukwe. And my name is Omo Thank you for watching. Right. Bye and subscribe.